and then of Larry Nugent, boys and girls, Shane David, Tamaris, Woods, uh, Fomana and my County Mead, boys and girls, together. And a thank you to the audience, boys and girls, uh, for making our, uh, our visit here, indeed, to the Heritage Centre, a very memorable, memorable one. Our thanks, indeed, to Larry for joining us on stage. And let's hear it once again for the wonderful, indeed, talents of uh, Vinton Moorfield. Let's hear it for Vinton, come on, the baby, the band. And let's hear it for all the way from Glasgow for a guitar and vocal man. Let's hear it for Alan Murray, come on, a guitar. Let's hear it. And thank you. Some say the devil is dead, the devil is dead, the devil is dead. Some say the devil is dead, I'm buried in Killarney. That's where we'll be next Thursday. If you're over in Ireland during the summer, we're there every Thursday in the Glen Eagle Hotel. So I'll pay us a visit. If you want to come to Killarney, you'll see the devil. The devil is not dead at all. He's alive and well, and he's living in Killarney. So let's see a giant together and sing, the devil is dead. Before we do so, folks, put your hands together for the man in the middle, the founder, leader, and front man of Wolf Tones for close to 40 years. The legendary is a Derek Orphan. Some say the devil is dead, the devil is dead, the devil is dead. Some say the devil is dead, buried in Calamity. Most say he rose again.
show without singing this next song. It was written by one of our finest poets and patriots, Thomas Davis. He inspired Ireland with his poetry and his prose and his writings back in the 1840s. He was a young man of 31 when he died. But it's, that doesn't mean, boys and girls, that his legacy was not profound and lasting. Because Thomas Davis and the its words were looked over and an inspiration for many of our subsequent men and women who led indeed our country to freedom uh, back in the, in the 1920s. Tonight, boys and girls, you remember Thomas Davis because of his inspiration. And it's probably the strongest and the most valuable thing that any of our patriots have left to us is inspiration. They certainly never left us any wealth. They didn't aspire to, indeed, give any, uh, to earn any wealth. And our heroes and patriots in Ireland were indeed motivated by the highest unselfish patriotic standards. And those standards, indeed, are something worth remembering. We should never forget that. Patrick Pierce, Thomas Davis, Roger Casement, all our heroes, indeed, gave their lives and they were motivated by those standards that have been long lost, indeed, by many people throughout the world. But tonight, we remember the word pride. I ask you all to join and sing with us our final song, Thomas Davis' And they show once again. But let's hear you sing, and they show once again. Yeah. 
and hope to God we'll be back again next year with the Manhattan Club. Hey! We'll be back again with Derek and the Young Wolf Tools. Again, thanks to Derek on behalf of our president and all the committee, as I said, bringing them here. And thanks to all the lads and girls as well. But we're going to have one more from Derek. And we have peace in Ireland today, and we all want to see the last British soldier leave my country after 800 years. I will be there to give the victory to And this is something for Linda Rock Place. Let's hear Jan sing.